See what I mean? Dodge the law. Actually, I ended up with a flock of model girls. And it marks. <laughs> Him and me riding around on this thing like a couple of nanas while you're out chasing birds. Oh, but Bernard, this one's a beauty. French, too. Her name is Chantal. Yeah, well, never mind about that. Boy, have we got a problem. We went round Barclays Square like wagon train through Wigan. Tell him, Bern. You know what the trouble with this is? It's a fire engine. And if we go on riding around on it like a load of nits, we're liable to get flagged down for a proper fire. Yes. Oh! You mean uh, you and Alfie are going to learn how to work it? No. I mean that Alfie, Bernard, and Harry are going to learn how to work it. That's okay by me. Oh. And just how do we learn how to become firemen in three easy lessons? We're going to call on Eddie. The professor! Operator, I'm so sorry to trouble you, but I think my phone may be out of order. I wonder if you'd call me back just to check it, would you? Yes, I'll replace the receiver. Thank you. Capital. <laughs> Capital! <laughs> Who is it? Watch you, Eddie. It's Bernie and the boys. Won't be a moment. Bernie! Bernie. How nice to see you. Alfred. Harold. Edward. <laughs> Won't you sit down? Make yourselves comfortable. I won't be one moment. Got yourself a nice new place since we've been away then, Eddie. Yeah. Really living it up, eh? But, uh... So you're still keeping the home fires burning, Eddie? Well, oh, yes. Yes, that's an experiment for a gentleman's country house in Sunningdale. Long distance call to his own number, a cast iron alibi, and 30,000 pounds from the insurance company. <laughs> but it's really rather a pity. His garden's looking so lovely just now. And of course, he's had to empty his swimming pool. You... Oh, no. No, you wouldn't like that at all. That's going back to the distillery tomorrow. That's only two days old. <laughs> yes, very weak scotch. Very strong insurance. Thursday, boom! I'll get you something a little more mature. We don't want you going up in smoke, do we? <laughs> it was a lovely job on the grain elevator, Eddie. At Green Hive, you recognized the trademark. Neat timing between the watchman's rounds and an elaborately prepared short circuit in the wiring system. The fire well out of control before the brigade arrived and the whole operation guaranteed to fool any insurance investigator. And it took care of 2,000 tons of mildewed wheat. What a packet of popcorn. Yes. Shall we sit down? Hey, you've got some nice things in this new place of yours, Eddie. Mostly gifts from satisfied clouds. My latest testimonial is that picture there. What happened? Where did that ball come from? <laughs> Just a simple device to separate business from...